Hey guys, welcome back to Ariel Moore's Makeup Room where we learn and grow together. Today I am back with another makeup tutorial. In fact, I am here with a Halloween Scarecrow Glam makeup tutorial for you guys. I am super, super, super excited to be back with another video, guys. I've been on vacation. I'm a little bit sick a little bit, you know, nasal congestion and stuff like that. So I sound a little funny, guys. I'm so, so sorry. But if you are new to this channel, I do want to invite you to subscribe, like, and comment on this video, you guys. And without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. So it is time to get into this glam look. We are going to be using the Honey Palette from Juvia's Place, guys. You already know this is one of my favorites. And we are going to use this dark honey shade to go ahead and go into that crease. So I am using a small eyeshadow brush to blend out my crease and just get that tone. I'm really going for something that's very dark and smooth and blown out. We want everything to look nice and fluffy, not too bold. Now some of my eyeshadow looks, you will notice that I don't over blend and that is because I want the look to be very bold and stand out. Now this is giving more fall glam. So we want to make sure that blending, blending, blending is very successful for this look to really come through to create a light fall look although we are doing a creative look along with that so just take your time and blend everything out and get it to just look nice and smooth all around the eyelid area next you guys are going to see me go into my morphe palette i am going into my orange you will think these are the only two palettes that i own guys i have pigments and like a ton a ton a ton of eyeshadow palettes guys they just literally stay in my vanity drawer i just have my favorites but eventually i'll start diving into some other colors that i have maybe after my halloween glam series is over i'm not really sure but right now these are the palettes that's just been doing the job so we're just gonna just stick with that but we're taking that orange and we're just gonna use that orange to really blow out those edges i'm not taking it too far into the eyelid because i don't want it to be orange i want to really have that orange stand out to make that eyelid pop open especially because later on i'm going into a cut crease with that orange and it's really going to tie the look together so notice that i'm focusing around the nose area as well as right there at the tip of the eyebrow those are the two areas that i'm focusing on blending that orange in and just really taking my time making that eyeshadow one 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 now you guys are seeing me use my concealer. This is a white concealer in my flat brush. I went ahead and add two little dots to my eyelids and I looked up. The reason why I did that is because I want to make sure that this cut crease is very natural to my eye. Now sometimes you'll see me do some dramatic cut creases where I won't even do that look up method. I'll just go straight into my design. But however, when you want it to look very natural to your eye, this method is going to help you get the perfect cut crease, okay? and then you'll go right into the corner of your um, eyes and just kind of work your way up you guys will see me do that for the second time and you just kind of connect those lines connect those dots and fill everything in the key to making sure that your eyeshadow stick whether you're using an eyeshadow based primer or a concealer is to make sure that everything is flat smooth and dry when I was starting out I would put my base down and literally go straight into my eyeshadow and everything would be real smudgy so basically what I'm saying is let it dry first and be patient now you guys are going to see me go into that Juvia's palette and we're going to just add that to the end we want everything to kind of come together get rid of that harsh line that is just sitting there waiting on something to happen guys no hard feelings you know something very very simple I do also want to invite you guys over to my cash app. I am accepting um, channel donations. I'm running low on products. So I would love, love, love some support, you guys. Cash app will be going across the screen as well listed down in the description area. So check that out, guys. I'm taking donations. So now I'm going into the orange right next to that Juvia's um, brown and we're just going to place that onto the eyelid. We're not going to fill the entire eyelid with that orange, 
but we're gonna just get a generous amount placed there you guys you see me doing that and you will see me go and do that to the other eye so i'm gonna go back into talking about donations so donations is going to strictly go towards more makeup brushes as well as like glitters uh primers moisturizers basically all makeup products i'm only 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 going to be purchasing makeup products with those and those products i will actually use in these videos guys um so yeah thank you in advance if you decide to donate also anybody that donates i think i will start shouting you out on my channel so i think that would be something fun to do just shouting some people out that donated if you want it to be you know if you want me to do that then i'll do that i don't know you let me know if you don't want me to shout you out, put that when you send it, say don't shout me out. So I know if you do want me to shout you out, just put your name in that little description area. Don't even say it's for makeup. I'm literally going to know it's what it's for because literally I'm going to know. So just put your name and I'm going to shout you out. But anyway, you guys just see me going back into the Juvia's and I'm just kind of blending everything together at this point. So we're going to go into some glitter. I did finish out with um a light orange right next to that dark orange you guys i forgot to record that part i'm not sure why i always do that but i ended up using a flat brush in that area and i just kind of placed everything there so you guys see me using my glitter and my glitter glue you can use a glitter eyeliner for this it's a lot faster i do have the same color glitter liner however i feel like using loose glitter gives it that bold bold look Whereas the glitter liner would make it more softer. So since the eyeshadow look itself was already soft, I needed something bold to stand out dramatic. So I decided to use a loose glitter. And the glitter that I'm using is from NYX. It is silver. And you guys see it now. Ooh, because I just don't remember if I showed it to you. And we're just going to place that right over the glue. It's very important that you use a really thin, thin brush okay this is an eyeshadow brush but it's very very thin it's almost like an eyeliner brush but it's not or maybe it can be used as an eyeliner brush guys i don't know i'm still learning my brushes if you have not noticed i don't even tell y'all the brushes names like i don't know <laughs> i just be here using the products and it just be working out so ooh, i like that yeah so now let's do the nose. I'm going in with some concealer as well as using a little tiny brush. And I'm just creating that cute little dotted nose. And I'm placing that all around my lips as well so that I can add some color to it. And we're going to go in with this orange. Y'all, this just coming together. It's giving cute scarecrow, okay? And the dreadlocks, baby, I should have pulled these down. So now you guys see I have that orange there. I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner and we're just going to trace around our nose. We're going to start creating lines around our mouths. You guys are not going to see that part. I know for sure I didn't record that. And you may look, I'm always losing my face in the camera. It just always happens. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going over with my black liner. And then eventually you guys are going to see me use my white eyeliner just to create some messy lines. Now, I don't shoot for perfection. Like, I'm just one of those artists that just gets it on there. I feel like going with the flow and not trying to make my work so perfect is what makes my work actually stand out. Because when you try to do everything so perfect, it's just, I just don't feel like it's realistic and true to you. And I'm not a perfect person, so you guys probably heard me say this before. I literally show my personality through my work. I do not look for perfection. So I'm placing these white lines. Um, when I looked up pictures of scarecrows, apparently this is what was happening. So I was like, okay, I can place that on my nose. We should be good. <laughs> and then I went over it with some black again and kind of just scribbled some black lines all through it. And you guys already seen the final look, but here it is again. We have all of our lines. I added some of the loose glitter to my lips and I mixed um uh, two colors red and black to create that nice little purple on the bottom lip just to kind of add a little boom 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 you know what i'm saying but yeah you guys this is the look and i want to thank you so much for watching this video i do invite you to donate via cash app to my channel as well as follow me on instagram gram with ari and you can follow my other main channels and main pages main youtube channel late nights with ari as well as my podcast late nights with ari and instagram ari under dash more 02 guys and i'll see you in the next video
Bye.